Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Thule Paramount backpack, which is a really versatile 27 liter kind of all purpose bag. And we've looked at a ton of different bags on the channel from Thule in the past, and I'm always super impressed with the range of bags that they offer. They have so many different sizes and styles that it can be hard to keep up with all the different bags that they come out with. And so this one actually came as a suggestion from one of my viewers who left a comment on a prior video. So I really appreciate those suggestions. And I went ahead and picked this up and I've been testing it out for the past couple of weeks. And so far, it's been a really great experience. The bag has been very comfortable to wear. It has a solid build quality. I really like how much space it offers. And it also has a very useful and impressive organizational layout. So I'm really excited to share it with you guys. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting off with the outside of the bag, I really like the overall aesthetic. Much like many of Thule's other bags, this has a very modern and kind of techy vibe that feels like it's gonna be minimal enough to take into an office, but it's not so kind of super sleek that it would feel out of place for taking into the outdoors or walking around a city. And then as far as the materials, the bag is made out of a really durable feeling 420D nylon that also seems to offer a nice amount of weather resistance. And then on the bottom of the bag, you have this really nice TPU material that feels like it's gonna offer some extra durability for placing the bag down on the ground. And then the bag also has some really nice, well-protected YKK zippers all throughout. So it really just feels like a bag that's gonna hold up well to rougher usage. Continuing along the outside, I really like that the bag includes an external water bottle pocket and this offers a nice amount of space. Currently what I have in here is the same 20 ounce water bottle that you've seen in a lot of my other daily bag videos. And then the compartment here has a nice amount of elasticity. You can see this band that allows it to kind of come out if you happen to have a thicker water bottle. And I like that it has a decent depth. So if you have a taller water bottle or you wanna play something like a smaller tripod, it should be able to fit in here without tipping out. And then I also like that at the bottom of this pocket, you have this little drainage hole in case the compartment happens to get a little bit wet. And then also on this side, you have a really nice handle that's gonna allow you to carry this like a briefcase when you don't wanna wear the bag on your back. And this has a really nice kind of seat belt like material. And I really like that the handle stays pretty flush against the bag when you're not using it. One thing that I will call out here, however, is you, if you happen to have a taller water bottle or a larger water bottle, I can see this kind of getting in the way of using this comfortably. But besides that, I really like that this was included. And then you also have another really nice, comfortable handle at the top. This one is even more comfortable than the side handle. It has a little bit of a thicker material here and it's also got this mesh to help prevent moisture from building up. So just a really comfortable handle that's gonna make it very easy to pick the bag up off the ground and it just feels like it's gonna hold up well even when the bag is a little bit more packed out. And then jumping into the capacity, the bag comes in at about 27 liters, which is a really versatile size in my opinion. I was easily able to hold all the items that I normally like to carry with me on my day to day. And I still had a good amount of leftover space if I wanted to pack in a change of clothes to go to the gym or even use this for minimal travel. And I really like that even though the bag has a good amount of space, it never really sticks out that much, even when it's a little bit more packed out, making it great for navigating crowded areas or jumping onto public transit. And then continuing on with the straps and the back paneling, so far the bag has been really comfortable to wear. This may actually be the most comfortable bag that we've looked at from Thule. I love how the straps have been implemented here. They have a really nice amount of padding and it's soft and comfortable right out of the box. And then on the inside, it has this meshy material to help prevent moisture from building up. And then the straps also have a really nice width to help prevent the bag from digging into your shoulders when it's a little bit more packed out. And then on the straps, you also have this little slip pocket here that might be a good spot to put something like a transit card. If you know you ride the Metro, you can just kind of pull it out quickly. And one thing that did surprise me is that there's no sternum strap that you can attach. It doesn't include anything, which may have been a nice addition considering that this is a little bit of a bigger bag. And then moving into the back paneling, this has also felt really comfortable. I love how much padding has been included here. And it also has this meshy material and these ridges here on the padding that help provide a lot of breathability. And then I like that the padding has a nice amount of elevation to create this air channel to provide some airflow while you're walking around throughout the day. And then while we're on the back paneling, there's a few additional features. The first one here is that you have this little strap that works as a luggage pass-through so that you can rest this on a suitcase while you're traveling to save some weight on your back. 
And then another nice addition is this kind of hidden pocket on the side that just gives you a little bit more peace of mind for anything more sensitive that you want to keep hidden from pickpockets. And this offers a nice amount of space. It actually goes in pretty far. And so what I currently have in here is my field notes notebook, but you can definitely put maybe a passport, some extra cash, or even a thinner wallet or a phone in here if you want to keep it just a little bit more hidden. And then jumping into the organizational options, the bag has a ton of great pocketing all throughout. I was almost overwhelmed by the number of pockets that it includes and I really had trouble kind of finding enough stuff to fill out all the different areas. So jumping in on the front, you just have some simple quick access compartments. So first up is this one here. It has this sort of magnetic flap that comes over to the zipper to help add some additional protection against the rain. And I like that you can easily flip this open. And then behind that, you have a well-protected zipper. And this is a very simple compartment. There's no sort of internal organization or anything like that. Just an area so you can quickly grab some smaller accessories. And so what I currently have in here is just a simple lightning cable to charge my tablet and my phone. And then I also threw in a simple deck of cards. And so even with those items in there, there was plenty of leftover space. And I just really like how quick and easy I'm able to get to those items while I'm running around. And then next up on the flap, you have another very quick access pocket. This one's actually probably the easiest pocket to get to in the bag. And this has still a nice covering to help keep the zipper protected. You can open this up. Again, no sort of internal organization in this pocket either. And on the inside, you'll start to see this bright orange liner, which I really like to make it easy to see everything that's in each of the compartments. And so a nice amount of space here. Currently what I have is just my Ray-Ban sunglasses with their case. And so I really like that this has enough volume to hold something a little bit larger. One thing that I'll mention, however, is that you, if you fill this compartment up a lot, it may affect the magnets that we're gonna take a look at with the flap in a little bit. It can just make it very hard to close the bag when this is a little bit more packed out. And then on the side, you have a taller kind of admin pocket that has some really nice internal organization. And so this has this zipper that comes all the way down to give you a very good view of everything that's on the inside. And so a nice amount of space in this pocket. And I like how many slip pockets it has on the inside to help you use the space, especially since this is a taller compartment. It's nice that it doesn't kind of fall into chaos with everything just being loose. So first up on the bottom, you have kind of this meshy elastic slip pocket that's gonna be great for bulkier and larger accessories. So what I currently have here is my GoPro. And then above that, you have a few smaller pockets that are gonna be great for thinner accessories, such as a pen, or in this case, what I have here is just a flashlight and then next to that you have a slightly larger one that might be a great spot for holding something like some cables which is what I currently have at the moment and then on the side of this compartment you also have an additional mesh zippered area this one I really like for smaller items that I just want to kind of keep in place and so you can open this up very easily plenty of space in here as well and so I just threw in a stylus in there at the moment and I also threw in a nail clipper and then on the inside of this compartment you also have a tiny little lanyard that has a plastic clip, which is gonna be a great spot to attach something like your keys or a multi-tool. The next area that we're gonna be taking a look at is the laptop compartment. And I really like that you can actually access this compartment from the side or from the main area. So we're gonna take a look at this side access zipper here. And it's a very tall zipper, which is nice to make it very easy to get your device in and out. One thing that I will call out about this zipper is that I do wish it had had a better zipper garage. So here on this zipper, you can see how well covered the top of the zipper is. And it's kind of smaller here. I wish that this wasn't quite as exposed, but the zipper itself still offers a nice amount of protection. So opening this up, on the inside, you have plenty of space. This should hold up to a 15 inch laptop very comfortably. Currently what I have in here is my 13 inch MacBook Pro and you can see that that fits in there. There's plenty of leftover space at the top. And the compartment has a pretty decent amount of padding on both sides. One thing that I will mention is that it isn't suspended off the bottom of the ground. Now the bag does have some padding on the bottom to help keep your device protected, but it would have been nice to just have that be elevated a little bit to give you some extra peace of mind. And so pulling my laptop out, now with the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside. So plenty of space. I like that it comes up a decent amount if you happen to have a thicker device. And really it just definitely feels like my laptop is gonna be very well protected while I'm on the move during the day. And then I also like that this has a separate area that's meant to be for a tablet. And so this also has a really nice amount of space. Currently what I have in here is my iPad mini. You can see that there's plenty of leftover space if you happen to have a 10 or 11 inch tablet. And one of the things that I really like about the tablet sleeve is that it has this soft 
kind of fleece or felt lining on both sides to help add some extra protection against scratching. So I kind of wish that that had been included in the laptop area as well. And then before diving further into the bag, one thing that I wanted to call out is this side access zipper here. It's very cool because it allows you to get into the main area of the bag without opening everything up that we'll take a look at in a second. So it's really nice to have these different ways to access the main area, particularly if you're someone who commutes by bike and you wanna just swing the bag around and be able to grab something from the inside quickly, such as your headphones or maybe a notebook or a jacket. It's really nice that you have this ability to get inside in this fashion. And so as I mentioned a little bit earlier in the video, the bag has this sort of flap covering that provides some extra protection for the main area. And this is an interesting system here. It's magnetic, which I'm usually a fan of, but I did feel that the magnets are slightly weak in this area. This is why when you fill this top compartment up, it can be a little bit tricky to close them just because it's not that strong. But these magnets do make it very quick and easy to pull this open when you wanna get further into the main area of the bag. And one other thing that I may have forgotten to mention earlier is that I really like that you have these reflective panels both on the flap and on this front compartment to give a little bit more visibility if you happen to be using this while riding a bike. And so underneath the flap, you have one additional quick access compartment. And I really like that this one has a soft inner lining on the inside. So opening this up, it has a pretty wide opening and here it just has this soft material to help prevent scratching. So if you wanna place your sunglasses or your phone in here without a case, this is gonna be a good spot to do so. I place my sunglasses in the top flap compartment just because I grab them a lot during the day. So in this compartment, I just chose to put my Apple Magic Mouse since that's something that feels a little bit more delicate. And then I also had my Apple AirPods in here. Sorry, they're kind of spilling out due to the angle of the bag. And then this has a pretty good amount of space if you have something a little bit larger that you wanna store in here. And I like that it has this mesh divider if you wanna kinda of separate the items out that are currently in this pocket. And then the last area that we're gonna be taking a look at is the main compartment. And it has this really interesting zipper here to get inside. So you can see that the zippers don't fully close together. And what I believe this is for is to allow you to kind of grip this area, very similar to what we've seen with some of Mystery Ranch backpacks like the Rip Ruck or the Three Day Assault Pack. It has this ability to kind of rip the compartment open so that you can get inside really quickly. It makes it very just nice and satisfying to kind of pull that compartment open when you wanna see everything that's on the inside. And so now with it open, you can see that it has plenty of space. Again, 27 liters of capacity, more than enough for anything that I normally need to carry with me. And with the items that I have here, you can see that there's some leftover space at the top. So if I wanted to toss in a jacket or a lunchbox or something, I would have been able to do so pretty easily. And so diving into the items that I currently have, first up, I just have my case that I used to carry, my DJI Mavic Mini, and then I also have my Beats Studio wireless headphones. And then down at the bottom, I just have a few of the pouches that I normally like to carry with me. So I have this Maxpedition pouch that has some of my smaller EDC items. And then next to that, I also have my Bellroy Classic pouch that has some of my dongles and smaller tech accessories. And so now with the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside and really get a feel for how much space this bag actually offers. It comes up a nice amount. It's a really big bucket of space. And this is what makes it great for minimal travel. So with the space that I have here, I was able to toss in my larger packing cube, my dot kit, an extra pair of shoes. And with that, I would definitely be able to travel for a long weekend or maybe even up to a week and still have a nice amount of space for all my other kind of tech and EDC accessories that I like to carry with me. And then in addition to offering a ton of space, I also like that this compartment has some nice organizational options. So first up on the back, this is where you could access the laptop from the top. Again, you can exit from the side or the top. So if you have the bag open, you can just kind of reach down and grab it easily. And then in front of that, you have a really tall slip pocket that has some padding. It's not as padded as the laptop sleeve, but it's nice that it's not super thin. And in this case, I just tossed in my Levitate portable standing desk. But if you're somebody who has to carry maybe an additional laptop or a really large tablet, it might be able to fit in here really comfortably. And then in front of that, you have an additional slip pocket. This one, again, is pretty tall. I really like how much space these all offer. For what I normally carry with me, the only thing that I tossed in here, however, was a full-size moleskin notebook. And then the last pocket on the front is just a very simple kind of mesh and elastic pocket that's going to be great for any smaller accessories that you don't want to fall 
all the way down to the bottom of the bag. And so this doesn't have any zipper. It just kind of has these flaps that fold over each other so you can just pull them open. And then currently what I have in here is my Blue Pop portable Bluetooth speaker and power bank. And I really like the simplicity and space that this compartment offers. The only thing with this sort of compartment is I don't really like to put too much in these so it doesn't create much bulging on the bag for everything else that I place on the inside. But overall, I really love the layout of this compartment and the amount of space that it offers. And throughout the rest of the bag, just a really impressive design. Everything is very easy to use. I really love all the organizational options. And if you're looking for a stylish and durable bag that you're gonna be able to use in all sorts of environments, then this is gonna be a fantastic option to check out. And so to wrap up, it's been a really great experience testing out the Paramount 27 over the past couple of weeks. The bag has been very comfortable to wear. It has a great build quality. I really like the organizational layout that it has, and it also provides an impressive amount of space. And so you can currently purchase this on Amazon or Thule sites starting at around $160, which is definitely a bit of an investment, but I think it's a reasonable price considering the features and build quality that the bag has to offer. And it also compares well to other similar bags in this price range. And so as I was testing this out, the first bag that this made me think of was the Thule Subterra 30, which we looked at pretty recently. And that was another really solid option from Thule that offered maybe just a little bit more space and it had a much simpler layout. I really liked the sleek look on that bag and it also had a really comfortable harness system. And it was kind of more techy and modern looking than this, but if that's your style of bag and you just want something that's gonna work well as a minimal travel bag and offer a solid build quality, then it's gonna be a great option to check out. The next bag this made me think of is the North Face Borealis, which is a really solid all-purpose bag similar to this. That one came in at about 28 liters, so very close in size. And I really love the harness system on that bag. It's one of the most comfortable bags that I've tested out. It has a great build quality, a really nice organizational layout, and a slightly different aesthetic to this. That one has more of kind of an outdoorsy feel. It has some webbing on the front that really makes it feel a little more like a hiking bag, but it's just a really solid all-purpose option similar to this. And it's also gonna come in at a little bit of a lower price range. So if you have a tighter budget and you're looking for something that's gonna be very durable, that's gonna be a great option to keep in mind as well. Another bag this made me think of is the Timbuktu Parker Pack, which is a really solid commuting bag. That one has kind of a similar aesthetic and price point to this. It's a very modern feel. It has a nice organizational layout and really great weather resistance. And like this bag, that one also has some reflective accents that are gonna make it great for riding around if you commute by bike. It's also comfortable. And a nice thing about that bag is it actually has the ability to expand out if you have a little bit more that you need to carry with you on your day to day or for a quick trip. So if you like this sort of aesthetic and you're looking for just a little bit more space, then that's gonna be a great option to check out. And then if you have a little bit of a higher budget, the last option that I'll mention here is the Air Travel Pack 2 Small, which is one of my favorite minimal travel bags. That one comes in at about 28 liters, so it's very close in capacity to this, but it has a little bit of a different organizational layout. That one is actually a clamshell opening bag, so it's very easy to pack out, and it has a ton of space, and I really like the organizational layout on that bag and the build qualities that are used. It really just offers a ton of weather resistance, and you feel like it's something that's gonna be with you for a long time to come. So so if you're looking for a bag with a very sleek and modern aesthetic that has a slightly different organizational layout, then that's going to be one of the best options to take a look at. With that being said, the Thule Paramount backpack holds up really well against all those bags. And if you're looking for a durable and comfortable bag that's going to offer plenty of space and a really solid organizational layout, then it's going to be a great option to check out. And I'm definitely curious to hear what you guys think of the Paramount backpack and how it compares to a lot of the other great Thule bags that we featured on the channel. And if there are any similar options that you think I should check out, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I wanna thank you again for always giving me some great suggestions for future videos. And if you guys found this video helpful, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one.